Welcome back to our channel. Today, Mom made Hasselback potatoes. This is the dish Mom always makes on Thanksgiving and Christmas feast because of their fancy visual appeal. Yet, they always have a lot to offer in taste and texture. First, we need to prepare the water for soaking the potatoes after cutting them. So just tap water, a little vinegar, and salt. Set it aside. Hasselback potatoes look difficult to cut, but with few easy tips, these are, are easy to prepare. First, use a sharp knife. Use medium-sized potato, as they will be easier to cut than large or small potatoes. Place chopsticks or wooden spoons on the either side of potatoes before cutting the knife from accidentally cutting through a potato. Cut your potato into slices about 1 8 inch in thickness. Try to cut most of the way through the potatoes. After cutting, soak potatoes into the prepared salt water to keep them not turning brown. Mom used gold potatoes this time, but before she also used red potatoes. It's up to you if you have any kind of potatoes in hand. Remember, different types of will give you a different taste. Use a cast iron skillet is the best to bake this dish. But if you don't have a cast iron, just bake them in a baking tray. How easy is that? For the best taste of every potato slice, Mom usually slices thin salted butter and put it between the slices. If you want to be healthier dish, mix olive oil and salt and pepper and brush over the potatoes. Make sure every slices have been covered with olive oil. Or, if you don't have salted butter, just use butter and sprinkle it with salt. Out of herbs, you could use rosemary or basil or even cilantro. You can use whatever you want. Toss whole clove garlic to bake with potatoes. In the 400 Fahrenheit preheated oven for one hour, or until potatoes are tender and golden brown. At halfway through, take it out and brush them with melted salted butter beneath the potatoes. This step will help the potatoes shinier when it's done. When it's cooked perfectly, take it out and give it another butter bath. Sprinkle some salt on the potatoes too. Hasselback potatoes got their name from the Swedish restaurant where they invented the restaurant was called Hasselbacken. As the dish gained popularity, this dish became known as Hasselback potatoes around the world. These Hasselback potatoes, when are roasted to golden brown perfection, can be topped with cheese, bacon, sour cream, and green onions and easy yet impressive side dish that pairs perfectly with chicken, turkey, and beef. Bye everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy our video. See you next time, bye!